In this video, we will solve four problems in engineering economics under the topic simple interest. For problem number one, how much simple interest would be due at the end of 14 months on a loan of 50,000 pesos if the interest is 14% per year? So here you can see that the uh, end here is uh, 14 months. So N is 14 months and then we convert that into year. That will be uh, 1 year over 12 months. Cancel months. That is equal to 14 over 12 year. Now for the 50,000 pesos, that is the principal P. So that is 50K. And for the interest rate, we have I is equal to 14% per year. Now it's asking for the uh, simple interest. So how much simple interest would be due at the end of 14 months? So the formula for simple interest is the interest I equals principal times the interest rate times N. N being in year. So P here is 50,000 times the interest rate of 14% times the N of 14 over 12. So the interest rate now, or the interest, simple interest is equal to 50,000 times 0.14 times 14 over 12. So that is, uh, the interest here is 8166.67. 8166.67. So that's for problem number one. Let's go to problem number two. If 300 pesos is earned in four months on an investment of 20,000 pesos, what is the annual rate of simple interest? So, earned. It says here that the 300 pesos is earned. So it implies that this 300 pesos here is actually the interest earned. So that is 300 pesos. And then we have N equals 4 months or 4 months MOS times 1 year over 12 months. Then we have investment of 20,000 pesos that is the principal amount P, 20K. What is the annual rate of simple interest? So from the formula for the interest simple, I is equal to P, I, N. I being 300 pesos equals the principal of 20k the i is missing so let's put here i and then we have here 4 over 12 so what is the value of i so i now here is 300 times 12 over 20k times 4 so that is <coughs> 0 .4, uh, 0 0.045 or that is times 100 that is 4.5 percent so that's for number two now let's go to problem number three A 
company has extra funds to invest for future capital expansion. If the selected investment pays simple interest, what interest rate would be required for the amount to grow from 3 million pesos to 4.5 million pesos in 5 years? So it's asking for the inter, uh, interest rate I. And uh, this is in simple interest from the principal 3 million pesos to the future amount of 4.5 million pesos for the number of years, 5 years. So from the formula of simple interest, future equals P times 1 plus I N. So we have our future amount as 4.5 million equals the principal 3 million 1 plus uh, interest rate it's missing and uh, 5 years. So what's the value for I? So cancel M we now have here so 4.5 divided by 3 minus 1 so the answer divided by 5 so that is 10% I is 10%. So that's for problem number 3. Now let's go to the uh, last problem number 4. So last problem for this video. What lump sum or what lump sum amount of interest will be paid on a 10,000 pesos loan that was made on August 1, 2012 and repaid on November 1, 2016 with ordinary simple interest at 10% per year. So, what do we uh, remember when we say ordinary simple interest? When we say ordinary simple interest, that means every month is counted as 13 days. So for the lecture discussion for simple interest, uh, search for the video in our playlist under the uh, top uh, title simple interest. Okay. So what is being asked in the problem? So what lump sum amount of interest? It's asking for the interest I, the total interest I. So, what lump sum amount of interest will be paid on a 10,000 peso loan? So, what is that 10,000 peso loan? That is the principal. So, 10K. And uh, the uh, I is equal to 10%. Now, as for the number of years using simple interest ordinary or ordinary simple interest, it says there from August 1, 2012 to November 1, 2016. Now, if we count here the number of years from August 1, 2012 up to August 1 of 2016. So, how many years that is that is 2016 minus 2012 that is four years now how about uh, so from august 1 2016 so that means on august 1 2016 that will be four years now how about up until uh, november 1 2016 So that will be from August 1, 2016 to November 1, 2016. How many months 
would there be from August 1 to November 1, 2016? That would be so August, September, October, until November. So that is 1, 2, 3. 3 months. So 3 months. Since we're taking only in year, so that is 1 year divided by 12 months. So that is uh, 3 over 12. So what's the total number of n now? So 4, 4 plus 3 over 12. So that is 4.25 years. So n is equal to 4.25 years. So you can now use the formula i is equal to P I N principal ten thousand times the I of ten percent then N is four point twenty five years so I now is equal to ten thousand times point one times four point twenty five that is four thousand two hundred fifty pesos four thousand two hundred fifty Pesos. So that's the answer for problem number four. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video.